Did you stay up all I look like I slept a lot, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A uh, lot's been made over the last few hours just about the, once again, the um, out-of-bounds call. Just once uh, in the light of day, just what's your thought on it now? Well, it's my same thoughts as last night. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was the same term. Thought the, it was... The replays were inconclusive, and they made the right call. There's no, the, and I thought it was the right call. But um, there's so many basketball plays in every game. I mean, you can break down every play. Good screen, bad screen. Push, not push. Carry the ball, not to carry the ball. It's just part of the game. You play through, uh, you play the game every play, and you move to the next play. And I thought our guys did a great job of putting ourselves in the position to win that game. Uh, obviously, the, the odds were stacked against us, but we never, we never put our head down and, and we made big plays. Uh, I, I like the fact that we did that after the, the, uh, the game before. You know, we had a lot of opportunities to win that game and, and did not do that, but give them credit. They made all the big plays in game four and, and we didn't play well down the stretch. And, uh, the next game was the, the other way. In Memphis, every game was pretty much close. In this one, it's been a big one one way, the other way, and then these last couple of games have been. Have you ever been a part of a, a series like this? It is. I mean, both teams are so competitive and very good players, and um, there's so many plays and, and so many great moments that you never know what to expect. But the thing that I know to expect from our team is. We're going to give great effort. It's not always going to be perfect basketball. And you have to give the defense some credit for that. It's not, they're not going to allow you to play perfect basketball. They're going to make you really work for everything that we have. That's something that we have to continue to fight through. Uh, when we're trying to get into our sets, we have to be able to get to the spots and fight through the contact and not give in. Uh, that's something that we, we need to get better at. But to give them credit, they, they did a good job of doing that, and we have done a good job. So that's just part of playoff basketball, uh, and you have to expect that going into the next game. Have you, have you learned anything seconds. just as, um, you know, since you started coaching just about, I mean, your experience in um, just in navigating these great mood swings, that uh, game swings and series swings, that, uh, and sort of how to, you know, how to convey the yeah. sense of uh, calm well, routine? Or? Well, you have to. You know, when it, we have an emotional group of guys, and I understand that from day one. Um, you have to have a very uh, even kill approach to, to the game because it's an emotional game. It's a very competitive game. There's f 10 of the greatest athletes are competing against each other. And you have to be able to remain calm uh, in the moments and uh, we at times we struggle in that area but for the most part we do a pretty good job with that um, in the playoffs it's like in, in the regular season you have to really approach every game as the most important game and every game has its own identity and personality and you have to embrace the, all the ups and downs of that game and in the playoffs I know it's a seven game series but we look at it as a one game series one game at a time and I think that's what we've always done, and we've had um, a lot of success doing it that way. Scott, did you notice the fans who left early last night thinking the team had lost? No, you know what, I did not notice that. I heard about it, uh, I was told earlier this morning, but I did not hear about that. Um, but, you know, one thing our fans know, I think the fans that left probably made a mistake that we never quit. Uh, we, we seem to do things um, the difficult way at times, um, but I, 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 don't, I didn't really pay attention to that. I was focused on coaching the game. You guys were able to score 23 points off their 17 turnovers. Is there something you guys did defensively, maybe at a higher level, to put hand on the ball and that kind of thing? Well, we, we want to force turnovers, but we want to play solid defense. I thought our defense was uh, good at times and uh, not so good at times. We gave up a lot of open threes. Uh, we weren't really connected and ready to close out uh, immediately on that catch. Uh, but, uh, but we did get our hands on the basketball. We got some deflections, some steals, and some opportunities to score in transition. 
Uh, those are the keys of our game. We want to get back and, and continue to focus on what we feel that important, that is playing defense with hands and activity and making them take tough shots. And you know, offensively, we have to obviously continue to move bodies and, 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 and move the ball and look for open shots. Do you think what you've been through the last two games will leave your guys with a sharpened focus in a closeout situation? Well, we know, you know, like every game is, it's a tough game. It's a tough game to, to win in this league one game in a regular season, let alone a playoff, let alone a closeout game. We understand the Clippers are very prideful, just like we are, that we're, they're going to want to come out and, and give their best shot to, to force a game seven. We understand that, but every game is like that. You have to, you have to give yourself a chance to win by competing, by executing and playing for each other. And, you know, both teams are going to do that game six. Last night you talked about how this team, like it doesn't give up, always is fighting to the end. This, how is how do you foster that in a team like this, especially like a young emotional team, and still keep them calm? I guess at the same time. Well, that's there's there's a balance to that. There's no question. Uh, it's something that I spent a lot of time with. We have a very competitive emotional group that that the competitive spirit is very high, and when you have that. There's going to be some times where uh, the emotions get the best of us. And I, I try to keep everybody as calm as, as possible. And for the most part, we've done a great job with that. There's obviously some, some, um, some breakdowns in, in, that, in, that, in that area. But for the most part, I think our guys have done a good job of really staying focused and staying in the, in the moment of each game and, and playing the possession out uh, as best as we can. Uh, it's it's not a mistake-free game, and we I understand. I think most people that follow basketball understand that uh, we just don't want to have the mistakes um, um, enter on the effort in, and, and that's usually not the case with us. Is Russell sort of at the top of the list in terms of keeping his emotions in check, and maybe surprisingly to some, if, if he had made some of those turnovers the way Chris Paul ended the game, it would have been a feeding frenzy on, on Russ. I mean, <laughs> it would have been. <laughs> I mean, how has he managed to? He, he keeps handling that criticism and, and seems to be getting better. You know, there's I can I can s sit here for hours and talk about all the things I love about Russell, um, and it seems like you know he does get criticized uh, uh, for a lot of things. Um, somebody misses a shot, it's Russell's fault. Somebody turns the ball over, it's Russell's fault. Uh, and, but you know, I, one thing I love about Russell. He competes every single night, and he plays uh, for his team every single night. And I think you can go around the league, and you look, and then you see guys like that, and you appreciate what Russell what Russell brings to to the to our to our team. He doesn't get involved in all the, all the things that are said about him, and, and why should he? You can't win over everybody. As long as you can win over your teammates, that's the respect that every player wants. Um, and that's the respect I talk about with our group, uh, whether it's Russell or another guy or me. As long as we continue to have each other's back, you can't worry about what people say uh, because you can't please them all. I mean, you can't. I mean, you can't win over every fan. You can't win over every rider. We all, ha we all want to do the best that we can, just like you guys do. Russell's no different, and, I, and, I, and I, I admire that in him. He's not worried about winning over everybody. Do you have to throw an emotional off switch? Because right down to the end of these games, it's all about strategy and tactics and what's next and two or three moves ahead. Do you, do you have to bank your own emotions? Uh, yes, I mean, you have to as a coach. It's, it's sometimes that's hard, and, and but you have to take yourself out of the situation and just kind of keep everybody stabilized and I, I, I think our guys have been through some uh, a lot of experiences together you know there's no question the last two games have been an emotional roller coaster for for the good part of the, the ride and, and you know the scary part of the ride but you, you you love to be on that on it and we all live for these moments um, we all live to be put in these these positions and our guys, uh, our guys thrive in this, in, in these areas. And but we're, with that being said, we still have to figure out ways to improve and get better. And just because we're in the middle of the playoffs doesn't mean that we have to stop thinking about how to get better. 
and we, we always focus on you know getting better from game to game. Steven seemed to find a niche at the dunker spot. Reggie seemed late to kind of figure out rebounding, particularly on the offensive end, was going to be big. For young players, especially young role players, is that like a, a big step in their development, kind of reading the game, figuring out what's needed from them that might not necessarily be what they normally do? Well, Steven uh, obviously has, has played well. Last night he, pl he played a, a lot of good minutes. Um, with, with Steven, like all players in this league, uh, young players, you have a lot to learn. So what we've done, we've just tried to keep it real simple with Steven. Uh, first, and just play hard, and I think he's really mastered that. Uh, and that's not, it sounds easy, but it's not easy. A lot of guys don't play hard, uh, but Steven does. And some of the, the other small things that we focus on, I think he's done a good job with that. As every player in their developmental stage, you can throw more, more at him and, or more to him, and he can able to internalize it. Uh, but he still has uh, uh, some ways to go, but he's off to a good start in his career. Serge last night seemed to be one of those guys that was kind of in a funk. I mean, just his body language, and then I don't know if it was that yeah. dunk that kind of got him. What, what did you see that kind of got him going and well, sort of I, I think a, the way he was yeah, I, I think a couple of things that got him, you know, off center was the, he got the quick – the two quick fouls in, in the first, I think, five or six minutes of that game. And then he came back in and got a quick foul uh, again uh, in the fourth, or the fourth foul. And then he missed some shots that he knocks down, you know, 60, 70 percent of the time. Those are the shots that we want. Uh, so, but he came back and bounced back and had a, had a good fourth quarter for us. Um, that's what you have to do. You just have to keep plugging away and you're not going to make every shot. You're not going to block every shot, but you have to just keep being there for your team. And, and I thought he was a good example of that. And that late in that game, he made some big plays for us. Is he a little bit like Russell in that way? And that, you know, just the emotion and, you know, sometimes it, yeah. it's not always the direction <laughs> yeah. you want it to go? Uh, he's very emotional. Uh, he's very prideful. And those are the things I love about him. But those are the things that sometimes uh, – drives me crazy, but I, I like being driven crazy when you care about something is, and you're passionate about something like Serge is. Serge is a passionate basketball player. He's competitive. The nature wants to win every, every possession. He, he, he gets frustrated when he misses a shot. He gets frustrated when he misses a rotation. He gets frustrated when he misses an opportunity to get a rebound. But those are, those are, that's what makes our team very good at a young age five years ago. Uh, we've always built our team on, on, on being competitive with each other in practice and, and, and transfer, transferring that over on the basketball court in a games. More. Yeah. I mean, what? yeah, Kevin was three for 17 before he got hot at the end. What did the Clippers do well against him, and what do you have to do to counter those things going forward? It's always a combination with Kevin. Um, we have to continue to move him around, and he has to continue to move around himself and, and, and get better setups and lower setups and, and forceful setups. Uh, and then he missed some shots. You know, he's allowed to miss some shots. He's allowed to have a, 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 an off shooting night. The guy has been so consistent all year, and in the playoffs, they're obviously loading up to him and putting more than one guy on him. And he's done a great job of being a facilitator with our offense and being a playmaker with, within our offense. Um, but like I said, he's allowed to have a, a, a bad, some bad shooting, uh, bad shooting game. But, but what makes uh, the special players or makes the great players special is that you can have a, a bad shooting night and then make three or four buckets down the stretch. And he has the confidence in himself. The team has the confidence in him to make those plays and obviously I have the confidence in him to make winning basketball plays. I'm, I'm not so concerned of him taking or making uh, every shot, just making the right play, whether that's a shot or the pass. And those are areas that he has really improved on over the years. A close all game on the road in, in Los Angeles, just what does the mentality of the team need to be? What do you want to see out of them? Well, our mindset has to be one of um, toughness and togetherness and and we know we're going to have to play well uh, to beat them but we've had to play well to beat them on any game just like they have to play well to beat us so we're going in there with a the mindset of 
we're going to give everything we have and we have to do it for 48 minutes and it has to be possession by possession of great effort and whether you miss a shot or make a shot you have to have the focus of just playing the next play thank you coach All right.